Well, students, in the previous video, I had informed you that we would take up ledger next. What's a ledger? We have already seen that in a business concern, day by day, n number of journal entries are made. If we consider this vast number of journal entries together for a specific period, let's assume for one full month, we'll see that several aspects or accounts appear again and again during this period in our journal. For example, purchase, sales, particular customer name, particular supplier name, particular expenditure, and particular income, etc. appears repeatedly during the month. Well, now I want to know at the month end, for that matter, any time, say, what has been my total purchase? In normal case, what we will do? We had to pick up from this cumbersome journal entry, rather journal, each and every individual purchase scattered here and there and total up and arrive at the total value of the complete purchase during the period. Similarly, a number of transactions takes place with various customers or suppliers also. Now that I want to know during a particular month, what have been the transactions with one of my customers, say Mr. X, or with one of my suppliers, say Mr. Y, and what's the net effect or net balance as on the month end? Mind, mind students. I may debit or credit Mr. X as well as Mr. Y, depending upon how these special accounts have surfaced and that too a number of times during the month based on my frequency of transactions with them. To know the position of each separately, say on the month end, will be a very Herculean task. Don't you think it will be a very Herculean task? If I keep all the entries pertaining to them in a journal itself, all the entries pertaining to them, if I keep in the journal itself, it will be a very Herculean task. And that too, this scattered way, that too, in the scattered way, it will be appearing in the journal. Considering the fact that we'll be having so many other accounts also generalized and appearing in the journal, don't you think? We would have been comfortable if these patients' accounts are available separately in each page or folio. The process of keeping each and every account separately, page-wise or folio-wise, is called ledgerizing. And all such pages or folios together are called a ledger. I hope you understood it. Now. Having understood this concept for your exam purpose, while answering a short note or short question answer, you will define that a ledger is nothing but a book or register which contains in a summarized and classified form a permanent record of all transactions. In other words, each account will be classified and kept in a ledger. Under a double entry method of bookkeeping, transferring from journal to ledger is done in a very systematic way. And this process is what called posting from journal to ledger. Posting from journal to ledger. I'll show you now with a few examples how this posting is done. Well, students, before we discuss about the posting technique of a ledger, or rather how to post from journal to ledger, let's just try about a ledger. Let me just give you some short note, rather a little more than a short note. Sometimes they ask you to write little extra about a ledger in an exam. All along, in a lucid language, I explained. That may not suffice your requirement 
score marks. For that, it's better to write like this. In a business, number of transactions takes place daily. These transactions are recorded in a journal as and when they take place. The business transactions of similar nature relating to a person or an asset or an expense or income are recorded at different places if they occur on different dates. Therefore, the journal cannot give the actual position of each account on any particular date unless the transactions of similar nature are brought together in one place. The actual position of an account cannot be known to the businessman. In the ledger, all transactions are classified and recorded under suitable heads of accounts in a summarized form. The method of posting from journal to ledger. So it is not generally given in, in a textbook. Out of my, as I said, 41 years of experience, I am generalizing one rule. Let us generalize that. A's account data to B is nothing but B is credited by A. That is sufficient to maintain the posting rule. In other words, bank account data 10,000 to cash 10,000 will appear in ledger as follows. First, as it is reproduced, bank to cash, bank account, bank account, okay, debtor, Okay, to cash. Okay, what do you return? As it is, bank account, debt to cash, 10,000. As it is here reproduced. However, the rules, the generalized principle says that you have to correspondingly show it. Cash is credited by bank because X to Y is nothing by y by, y by X. Hence, cash account credited by bank. Okay. So you find to this side and by this side. Many of my ex-students so by headed it and they someday write by left side and to this side because they are not understood how it comes. Is it possible to come that way in a transpose to way? Impossible because it is debtor to and credited by. Is it no? So that you keep it in mind. You'll never make that mistake because it's debtor to and credited by. It is not that just like that, okay, to and by we are writing there. It is nothing but a reproduction of your ledger only. Now the format of a ledger you can easily make out. What is that? First column is debit. Next is particulars. You, these two you don't need any explanation. Even the amount you don't need any explanation. JF comes. That is nothing but journal folio. Because from which journal you have posted it here. Similarly in the journal also there will be an LF will be there. Ledger folio. This folio will be shown there. So a crisscross verification is possible. I hope I'm very clear to you. So the transaction was, what was the transaction all about? Bank to, deposited cash into bank, obviously. That's why bank to cash. So bank account, debtor to cash was the journal entry that I have shown here, bank account, debtor to cash. X account to Y is nothing but Y is credited by X. Nothing more you remember. So naturally, bank to cash is nothing but cash by bank. Cash credited by bank. That's all. So that's the rule. X account debtor to Y is to be correspondingly shown as Y is credited by X. Please don't forget that. Now let's take a, a lesson of cases. Uh, transaction. See, I'm not going to explain this uh, uh, transaction, how it has been generalized. Anyway, two, one, two, just first and second I'll explain because this has been explained in the last video, right? Mr. Ganesh commands business with cash rupees 60,000. What is the general entry? Two aspects, cash and capital. Cash, real account comes in. So debit, capital, giver, credit. So it's right cash to capital. It has been elaborately explained in the previous video, right? Paid into bank, rupees 20,000. Bank and cash. Bank debit, cash credit. Why bank the debit the receiver? Personal account, debit the receiver, bank debit. Cash, real account, goes out, credit. 
So that's all like that you can manage it, okay? In the sense, I presume that you have thoroughly understood my previous uh, uh, video, right? Okay. Now, but this is mainly for how to have it posted in a ledger. First one, let us see, cash to capital. I am showing it in my ledger like this, cash to capital. Of course, data and I think is there. Cash to capital, 60,000. Or is it not 60,000? Let's stick. Yes, 60,000. Cash to capital, 60,000, I have shown. Cash to capital, 60,000, I have shown it. Okay. Now, it has to be corresponding shown as what? Cash to capital is nothing but capital by cash. So immediately capital account also has to be opened, is it not? Yes, I have opened a capital account. Capital credited by cash. I have highlighted with red, highlighted in red that the sequence of general entry so that cash you will see that here in the capital account, one is correspondingly here in the, here also cash. I'm sorry, uh, where is that? Ah, capital account also, uh, cash account rather, cash account I have shown number one. If you see, check the capital account, you will see that yes, it is denoted here also by number one denoted here also by number one. Like that, you can cross verify. One more I'll show. All others, you can check yourself. I need not waste my time, nor your time. Right. Uh, what is that next one? Let's see that. Bank to cash. So cash is already opened. Uh, no, bank has to be opened. So I'm open another account called bank. Bank to cash, just 20,000. That second general entry. Bank to cash has to be correspondingly represented by cash by bank. So go to cash by bank, 20,000, the corresponding number. Why I given this corresponding number also? This is not in the ledger for teaching purpose only, for the beginners to cross verify. Okay. Now, let's see. Purchase to cash. Yes, a new account comes now, purchase. I have no option but to open a new account. Yes, purchase account. Purchase data to cash. Plain whatever has been explained in the journal. Purchase data to cash means rule of posting states that cash is credited by purchase. Is it now? So I have to, my hand has to move to cash credited by purchase, the journal. In similar way, you can check everything. Since I have categorically given serial number, you can satisfy yourself, okay? So this is all about the first part of a ledger in the sense how to have it posted. Is it okay? But posting, will it be sufficient? It's appearing like this, a huge amount here is there. Baba, my ultimate purpose is to know what is a net balance in a ledger, but okay. So how to have balance a ledger? Well, students, I want to again say, those of you who have already got some knowledge about accounts, maybe a degree student, this looks to be very simple for you. I am taking those students who have not heard the word accountancy or bookkeeping in, my, in their life at all. For such students, this, this initial lectures are meant for. Okay, so be, please bear with me, right. Balancing of ledger accounts. First, total the heavier side. Heavier side means side having more amount. Put the same total across the other side. Fill the difference by indicating again as balance carried on. Right. Let us just see with the cash account. Okay, I, I need to slightly put it down. Okay. Cash account. All these entries were there previously 60,000, 25,000, 15,000. If you want to see all this without prayer to balancing, was it there? Please check it. Yes, it was there. Similarly, in the credit side, this 20,000 and 20,000 and 10,000 were there. Is it not? 20,000 and 20,000 and 10,000 were there. In the cash account, it's 
20,000 and again 8,000 and 5,000 were there, of course. And uh, again, Eight thousand five thousand. What I mean to say, you hold on. These entries, you keep it as eight now. Don't think about it. These were there. I'm just reproduced it only. I'm in the process of balancing the ledger. What is the first step? Total the heavier side. Heavier in the sense, the side having larger amount. Obviously, this is the side. I total, I find it one lakh. Second, put it across. Yes, I put it here. Find the difference. That means. If you add all this, certainly there must have been 63,000. The balance would be 37,000. And indicate against it by balance carried down. Is it by balance carried down or two balance carried down? Lifelong, you can write in this side to nor in this side by. So it is always by balance carried down. You will indicate against the weights balance carried down. What does it mean? It means the closing balance of a ledger. The weight carried down shows closing balance of a ledger. I show 36,000. Normally, it is written on the next day. It was January 31st. I carry forward in the next day to balance brought down. Here I should write by your two. Invariably, debit side of a ledger means it has to be two. It can't get transposed by this side to that side. It's not possible. I need not rewrite it again. Okay. So it is shown as to balance brought down. Here, what is the weight change brought down? What does it indicate? It is an opening balance. Yesterday's closing balance will be today's opening balance. This sentence, keep it in mind. So many other, around 100 of, more than 100 number of videos I like to post. Because in most of the uh, chapters, this preparation of ledger in one or the other way will creep in. So you have to be very familiarized with the balance carry down means you should be thorough. Yes, it's a closing balance. Balance brought down if you encounter somewhere means it's an opening balance. Okay. In similar way, you can this account also. How are you? This was the total. Have you said your total? Put the same dot like cross. There was nothing here. Okay. I am extremely sorry. This side was the heavier side. I put it this side. And there is nothing here. I fill the gap indicating against to balance carry down. Okay. I equalized it like that. Using the weight balance carry down appropriately in the appropriate side, I have equalized it. Bank also. There were just 20,000. I put it here. Equalize by showing against balance carry down. Let me go for with ah, here at least two entries are there. Total is 30,000. I put it here, and the difference is 30,000. I have indicated against balance carried on. Wherever balance carried on is shown, I have brought it down in the next day as opening balance against balance brought down. Okay. I hope it is very clear to you. And uh, let me take, uh, okay, let's uh, see this Sudeep's account. Sudeep's account in the debit side amount was 20,000. Of course, credit said two entries are there. That doesn't matter. Total the heavier side, I said. Heavier side means it's not the number of entries. The side having more amount, this side 20,000. I put it across. Okay, these two entries, 17,000. The difference is 3,000. That have indicated against balance carried on. That's all. And obviously, January 31 means. Closing balance is shown against balance carried down means next day I have to indicate it against balance brought down. Now you can verify such way yourself all the other postings. Okay, I need not explain. The third thing is you have to decide whether the balance carried down is a debit balance or a credit balance. Whether the balance carried down is a debit balance or a credit balance, I have to decide. How well they said it? Here, very easy. If balance brought down is there, means wherever balance brought down, that kind of balance. Where is balance brought down shown here? Debit said. So it's a, this account has got a uh, cl closing balance as well as opening balance, a debit balance. Okay. Suppose you had to desert. Okay. This account has got a 
debit balance because balance brought down is brought down in the debit side. This account where I have shown balance brought down the debit side. Actually, it's a debit balance only. And this side where balance brought down is shown debit say naturally it's a uh, debit balance only let's see capital where the balance brought down is shown is in the credit say so it has got a by closing balance of credit closing balance okay so long as you are carry forward the balance in the next day the same side balance it has got but mind my, my dear students as you go on learning many often this balance brought down will be dispensed with the story will end with this balance carried out. In that case, how will you decide? Simple technique. Decide on the basis of opposite side wherever balance carried down is written. Where I written the balance carried down here? 5,000. So what kind of account? Opposite side. The credit side. Credit side. So debit side balance. Next one. Where I have written the balance carried down here? In the credit side. So what kind of closing balance it is? Debit balance. And again, I'm writing balance carried down is written in the debit side. So what kind of closing balance this account represents? You have been given just this uh, balance carried down only. You have not been given balance brought down. Balance carried down is shown in the debit side. What kind of closing balance it, this account has got? Decide on the basis of opposite side wherever balance carried down is given. Debit side balance carried on. Opposite side means debit credit side. So it has got a credit balance. Cash account. Cash account balance carried on is written in the credit side. This side on the basis of opposite side. So naturally, debit side is the opposite side. So it has got a closing balance of debit balance. The cash has got a closing debit balance. And uh, incidentally, I tell you. Cash can never have a credit closing balance. That means this side will be more and this side will be less. Simple. Cash means cash box. Out of my practical experience, cash means cash box. You cannot uh, take out from your cash box 1,20,000. If you have put inside the cash box only 1 lakh. Is it not? Or in simple way, you cannot take out 10 rupees from a cash box. if Availability is only eight, eight rupees. That's the way cash account never can have a credit balance. Whereas bank account can have a credit balance, either balance, because at the discretion of the branch manager, he can allow you to draw more than what is available in your book, in your ledger or in your account. And that such a withdrawal is called overdraft. We'll be learning more about it uh, when cash book will be dealt with. It's a very interesting chapter and it's a very predominant chapter also. So that's all about ledger. Ledger, what you have learned? How to post from journal to ledger. Simple rule. X to Y is to be correspondingly re represented by Y. Y X account data to Y is to be correspondingly represented as Y is credited by X. So bank to cash is nothing but cash by bank, right? Then how to balance? Total the heavier side, put the same total across, fill the gap against balance carried down. Total the heavier side means side having larger amount. Totally that side first, put them on the other side. Find the difference, fill it against balance carried on. Balance carried on may come as two balance carried on or by balance carried on, depending on how the balance is there. And how to decide whether the closing balance is a debit balance or credit balance. So long as the account has been correspondingly brought forward or brought down the next day, same side. Brought down is shown. In the debit side means that account is a, at a closing balance of debit balance only, same side balance. Whereas many often, many often, this uh, next day bringing down is dispensed with. Things get terminated at only in the uh, credit uh, closing level only. So close balance carry down is shown. Balance carry down is only shown. 
let's assume balance carried down is shown in the credit side. What kind of balance it is? Many often students have done, told me, sorry, balance written in the credit side, so credit balance. No. Okay. Desired on the basis of opposite side of wherever balance carried down is written. I say opposite side wherever balance carried down is written, that kind of closing balance the account has got. Whereas if the account has got the balance brought down figure also means same side. I hope this much you understood it. Now trial balance. What's a trial balance all about? We have balanced a dozen of accounts above, almost a dozen of account. And we are decided the closing balance as a debit balance or credit balance and what is the respective amount also. Just pick up and list down in a sheet. That is called trial balance. So trial balance on as on the date. It will be as on, as on means on a particular date, not for the month, as on that particular date. Name of the account, ledger folio, debit, credit. This is a, this is a uh, style of showing a trial, in a trial balance. Cash, you'll see, if you scroll back, you'll see cash is a debit balance, capital is a credit balance. I told you how to decide the balance, right? Obviously, if you total up both the sides will tally, this is called trial balance. This is a nice aspect about bookkeeping. You have a basic transactions. They have been generalized using the principle what you have been taught. And you know how to have it posted in the ledger. Okay, because x to y is nothing but y, y by x. You know how to balance a ledger. You know how to decide the balance. That balance, how to decide the balance means whether it was a debit balance or a credit balance. You have successfully decided it. Just list down in a sheet of paper. Debit balance in the debit side, credit balance in the credit side. If you have done the proper job, that means no misposting is then means it has to obviously tag you. Thank you students. That's all in this class. I hope I have made you very thorough about ledger, trial balance, etc. Okay, keep practicing. As I tell always, keep practicing. Practice makes things perfect and fast develop our confidence. Thank you, see you soon.